Trump, the resistance, and another year of failed conservative policies. This is the Michigan Minute, Year in Review, Part 1. Welcome to the Michigan Minute, the news you need to know in about a minute. I'm Hugh Madden, Communications Director of Progress Michigan. This is a special edition reviewing the past year, and this week, we'll cover the first half of 2017. On January 20th, Donald Trump took the oath of office and gave a dark speech, laying out a vision a majority of Americans reject. Later that day, he said his crowd size was historic, and it was historically small. The next day, a much larger crowd showed up for the Women's March, showing the world the resistance was alive and well and organized. The resistance would show its strength on many occasions throughout the year, including showing up at airports around the country when Trump announced his Muslim travel ban just a week into the new administration. In Michigan, new Speaker of the House Tom Leonard made the case against term limits by offering a tax cut plan that would defund vital state programs like education and city services and give a huge windfall to Betsy DeVos and her family. After the plan was defeated, Leonard threw a temper tantrum and punished a Republican who voted no. Stay classy, Tom. Michigan's summer kicked off with Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly tripping over himself by launching a ballot measure campaign designed to give him media attention to get out of Rick Snyder's shadow and to give lobbyists all the power in Lansing. After the kickoff, though, numerous Cali supporters came forward complaining about how they were treated and mistakes leading to numerous petitions being thrown out. Spoiler alert, Cali finally gave up and handed his scheme off to ultra-conservative Tom McMillan. As we hit the halfway point of the year, the Flint water crisis is still ongoing, our schools continue to be underfunded, FOIA reform is nowhere in sight, and don't get me started on the roads. Links are in the comments for further reading. That's all the time we have this week. Happy holidays and come back next week for the second half of our year in review.